Hey YouTubers, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate some basic uh, animation, rotation aspect. We have a um, very simplified uh, helicopter here. <laughs> uh, basically I've got the rotor base and uh, the blade there, the rotor blade on top. And what we're eventually going to get is um, this thing to spin on its own and just keep spinning. All right, so there's a lot of different things you can do uh, to get this to work and uh, might fumble through this a little bit, but uh, you eventually will get, uh, get to where you need to be. So let us reset this so we can do this just like we would from the beginning. All right, so I'm going to go to File, Import, and I have made a very basic assembly here inside Inventor. This will take a moment to come in, and there it is. All right, so what I need to do is, uh, looks like this is already selected. If it isn't selected, you would right mouse, you would select it, then right mouse click select curve editor now <clears throat> so here's your rotor assembly but what we want is the rotor not the rotor base but the rotor in this example and we want Z rotation so I'm going to right click on that assign controller and there's a bunch of different things in here it's above beyond the scope of this lesson to go over all of them but uh, we're just going to go with linear float I select OK then here's one of those steps that is easy to forget um, hit the A button on your keyboard and then start hitting um, points on the blue line so this is a starting point and I'm just going to hit uh, three. Um, you have this whole length of frames to do stuff with, right? But uh, we basically want this thing to um, spin up and keep spinning. So um, I'm going to just do two. All right, then I'm going to right mouse click, change this to move keys. Then I'm going to move this up. And this is not necessarily where I want it to be just yet, but just so you can see it, we'll hit the play button, and we've got a basic, uh, we made one partial rotation, okay? Uh, so, I really don't want that. What I want is for this guy to um, continuously spin. Now, there's a bunch of different things in here I could do. Um, just so we see it, cycle is going to do what? basically repeat just what it did right over and over and over and over and just keep freaking going and um, this is close to what we want but it's not very smooth so let me go back to that they make some of these look so similar it always drives me nuts but all right um, relative repeat is what we want so I'm gonna click OK there and now you see that, sorry, got some background noise here. Now you see that it pretty much ramps straight up to Timbuktu. If I hit play now, it does the same thing, right? But it's, it's not really running at a very fast speed. And to get it to run faster, we would need to basically take this key and ramp it up and keep ramping it up as far as you can freaking go um, and we're moving it closer to the other the other node so or the other key so if we back up and then we hit play you see we're spinning a lot faster right now if I bring this down you know we are slower right if we Let's scroll back down. If 
we move this to the left, let's see what happens. That also moves relatively quick. And basically, <coughs> closer you are to a vertical line, the faster this thing goes. Right? See that? And if I move this over to there, what happens then? Nothing. <laughs> so don't do that um, the last second, the last thing I just did. All right, well, that sums up this lesson for now. Um, Control-Z will uh, get you back to where you were. I hope you got something out of it. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.